Today is November 26, 2021. 234 days ago, I went to the notary to create Perfinex GmbH. 234 days ago and counting because we're still waiting on some official documents. If you live in Germany, you're probably well aware that the bureaucracy here is absolutely horrible. But 234 days and counting to register a company just blows the roof off, as far as I'm concerned. Now you might ask, if it is taking us forever to create our business, why should you watch this video? Because I'm obviously not an expert on this. I have made mistakes along the way, that is certainly correct. The real reason though why it is taking us 234 days and counting is my beloved Finanzamt Munich and the IHK Munich. Just in case any of you two are watching, from the bottom of my heart I have one message for you. Go f*** yourself. Hopefully you can learn from our mistakes and the following 8 steps to your very own GmbH will get you there faster than we did. What's up everyone, welcome to the newest Perfinex planes from Perfinex, the number one English speaking and independent financial planner in Germany. How did you like that new intro? I felt that there's a new look and feel required with the GmbH now being almost established. And today we're gonna show you the 8 steps how you can open your GmbH as well. The most important tip to protect your business is the last one on this list. But you need to do one step at a time because they build on each other. You cannot start with the last step. First question is probably, why would you even want to open a GmbH here in Germany? Now, Please do not start your self-employment with a GmbH right away. Rather start as a freelancer, Freiberufler or a tradesman, Gewerbetreibender in German. Check with your local IHK or your local Gewerbeamt what your business would be. Or let me know in the comments if you are interested in a comparison of Freiberufler versus Gewerbetreibender. Today we'll focus on GmbH only. So start with a solo entrepreneurship and when you see over the years that it works, you start making some money, you want to do this over the long term, then at some point it is time to develop from solo entrepreneur into a real business. I waited about 4 years for this step. What's the big advantage of a GmbH compared to a solo entrepreneurship? 3 things. Liability. As a solo entrepreneur, you are liable with all your business assets and private assets. So one mistake can financially ruin you and destroy everything you built over the decades. A GmbH will only be liable with its stock capital of 25,000 euros. We'll come to that later on. Reputation. Perfinex GmbH just has a better standing in the market than Axel Brückner. Facts. In all kinds of regards, clients, business partners, credibility. That's also the reason why you should avoid the UG, the mini GmbH. More on that later when we prepare for the notary meeting. And lastly, taxes. A GmbH is a whole lot more tax efficient than any solo entrepreneurship out there. A GmbH pays roughly 15% trade tax plus 15% corporation tax, so roughly 30%. As a solo entrepreneur, you will pay up to 42% income tax. All details in this video. So determine for yourself if these three advantages of a GmbH are important to you. If these advantages outweigh all the work and the costs you will have with a GmbH. If they do, let us start with step 1, check requirements. Are you even allowed to start a business with your visa status? With a blue card, maybe not. With a permanent residency, you should be fine. Check with Ausländerbehörde if you are not sure. Are you allowed to start a business if you are employed already? Depends on your employment contract. Check with your employer if you want to stay employed while you start your own business. Get an address for the GmbH. You probably don't want to use your private address here, because the GmbH address will be published online. And you would need permission from your landlord if you want to register with your private address. Think of a name for your business. The name must be free and unique. There cannot be a similar business with a similar name. You can check this with your local IHK. And the name cannot be misleading. So us offering financial advice as 
Perfinex Food Catering Service GmbH would not be allowed. A aside from the fact that it would be also be pretty stupid to mislead the general population with the name of your business. Also think of the business purpose that you will need later when you register with the local court. Here's our translated description. You'll need it in German of course. Think of the ownership and decision making. Who owns how much of the company? Especially important if you create a GmbH as a team. And lastly for step 1, try to establish a GmbH instead of a UG, a mini GmbH. I know you need more money, in stock capital though, not in funding cost. Stock capital of a GmbH is 25,000 euros, the OG only 1 euro. Both will cost about 1000 euros to create. You need half of that stock capital to create your business. So 12,500 euros for a GmbH. Again, stock capital, not funding costs. We'll see in step 3. Try to get this money and start with a GmbH instead of a UG. Trust me, you will benefit from this later on. Just imagine we would have found it Perfinex UG. What is the message that we're sending here? The message is that we don't even have 12,500 euros to invest in our business. That message would be pretty bad as a financial advisor, right? Of course the UG or GmbH decision depends on your exact business. I personally feel that it's a lot more beneficial to start with a GmbH right away, if you can. Now that all the important stuff is fixed, it is time to go to the notary. Because you cannot found a GmbH here in Germany without a notary. I don't think you need to see a lawyer before the notary. Just get an experienced notary and you'll be fine. A good notary will help you with all the paperwork and will give you tips on all the minor details. All you need to do is to give the notary the information that he wants. After you sign that the notary that you really want to create your GmbH, you will be a GmbH in foundation, GmbH IGR in German. This GmbH in Gründung will allow you to step 3 open a bank account in the name of the GmbH. And it is important that it is a business bank account. If you open a private bank account for the GmbH and the bank finds out, which they will very shortly, they will immediately cancel your bank account. So better get a business bank account right away. And what's the best bank for you? Feel free to use the best business bank account calculator on our website perfinex.de. Just type in your requirements, your legal form and if you want a credit card for your business and the calculator will show you the best options. And sometimes you might even get a bonus if you open your account to the calculator. Once your business bank account is active, transfer your 12,500 euros or 25,000 stock capital to this account and send a confirmation that the money is in the account to the notary. This will enable the notary to register your GmbH with the local court. Attention! Once your GmbH is registered, you will receive a lot of fake invoices that all look very official. They want huge sums of money and they're all fake. Do not pay these invoices. The only real invoice is this one for 150 euros. Ignore the rest. Step 4 is easy. Register your company with your local trade office, Gewerbeamt in German. At Munich KVR this works all online. Super cool! Just google your local Gewerbeamt and see what they're saying. This might work a little differently in every other city. Step 5 is the Fragebogen zur steuerlichen Erfassung with your local Finanzamt so your GmbH gets its tax number and VAT number. This step really shows you that you probably want to get a tax advisor for your GmbH. Our tax advisor did this whole step 5 for us. Which is probably the way to go for you as well. Especially with the language barrier you expats face here in Germany. And honestly, as a business owner you have other things to do than handling German bureaucracy all day long. Our tax advisor is also doing our payroll. Because I will be employed now by Perfinix GmbH as managing director and get a salary of 4000 euros gross every month. Which after doing all the calculations is the perfect salary for a managing director that is not married. Why? With 48000 euros gross salary you will have roughly a tax rate of 25%. 
If you want more money out of your GmbH, pay yourself a dividend, that is taxed with 25% capital gains tax, instead of a salary, that is taxed with up to 42%. Thank me for that later. Step 6 is to get all the licenses you need here in Germany. And your GmbH will most likely need a license or two. Reach out to your local IHK or Gewerbeamt to find out what kind of licenses your business needs. Perfenex GmbH has four licenses. 34C Gewerbeordnung, which is for all kinds of loans. 34D, which is for insurances and pensions. 34F, which is for investments, and 34I, which is a special kind of license for real estate loans. Just ask your IHK what you need. Your GmbH will be registered as a member of your local IHK anyway, which is mandatory and you have to pay for that, of course. So the least they can do is to consult you in what kind of license your GmbH needs, right? Step seven are all kinds of insurances that your GmbH needs. Some of that might be even required by law. For three out of our four licenses, we are required by law to have mandatory insurances. Definitely check for your business what mandatory insurances you have to have. On top of the three mandatory insurances, we have a business liability insurance, a business legal insurance and a business cyber insurance. I feel those three are must-have insurances for almost all kinds of businesses and the really good insurances even cover you as the managing director of the GmbH as well. Let us know if we can help you select the best insurances for your GmbH by booking a free meeting right here. Aside from these private insurances, you might want to reach out to German Social Security as well. As a managing director of a GmbH, you might be free to exit Social Security which will save you a lot of money. Send the V0027 form from the homepage of the German Public Pension to their clearing office. They will let you know if you are considered an employee or self-employed. If you are self-employed, you are free to exit Social Security. Congrats if you are! If so, check these videos to see how you can optimize your pension and your health insurance in the private system. Many business owners in Germany prefer private pensions and private health insurance over the public system. Reach out if you want to discuss with us what's best for you. Last but not least, the most important step 8, get a protected trademark for your business. Why is that so important? Germany is divided in these local court districts. We register Perfinex GmbH with the local court in Munich, which protects our business and our name on a regional level. Meaning nobody else could found a Perfinex GmbH in Munich and offer financial advice here. Berlin has a different local court. Stuttgart has a different local court. Frankfurt has a different local court. Nothing prevents someone from opening a Perfinex GmbH there and offer financial advice pretending to be us. That might be fine if you're a local business. We are a German-wide business though. So for us, it is not fine if there's 10 different Perfinex GmbHs in Germany pretending to be us. To prevent this, please protect your name with the German trademark agency DPMA. They have 45 different categories and this is the certificate that prevents everyone from opening a Perfinex GmbH in Germany in the categories insurance, investments and real estate. And it is surprisingly cheap at 290 euros for 10 years. So please register with DPMA to protect your business if you want to be active all over Germany. Let us know if there's any open questions left on how to open your very own GmbH here in Germany and write us in the comments how long it took for you to go through all the steps. Happy weekend everybody!